Well, friends, today is Saturday, June 25, 2022, and uh, we're looking at Psalm 23, verse 4 today, just one verse. It's a verse I bet you know. Uh, we've yesterday looked at the fact the Lord is our shepherd, and we're not going to want, we're not going to lack, uh, because he is with us, and he uh, helps us to, to find the beautiful places, the green pastures and the still waters and uh, places of provision, and he, he restores our souls. He, he puts us on the paths that are the right paths that, that lead to the good destinations. And then here comes this verse. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The uh, rod and staff were the basic tools that a shepherd had, uh, both to move the sheep around and to protect them, and um, Moses is, is going to have to be the, the, the military strategist, the sort of military leader for uh, a people that didn't have an army. And so uh, he's going to have to need, lead a nation, to shepherd a, a nation. And first he's shepherding sheep. And of course these roles are different. Um, I, I, I am joking a little bit, but I think there's less politics with the sheep. You know, um, sheep are not creatures that are very sophisticated, and they're thinking generally about um, about the next meal, except during breeding season, and and maybe about about their the lambs that they're trying to care for. But um, it's often the case that sheep will wander off unintentionally. Did you know that about sheep? They just nibble at the edge of a field. And they keep nibbling and nibbling and nibbling, and pretty soon they're out of the field and they're into the wilderness. And so sheep aren't uh, scheming often to get lost. It's, 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 it's happening because of a, a lack of awareness on their part. So less politics with sheep, but there are some things that you can learn, that Moses is going to learn that do apply. Uh, he's going to have to take risks, as I mentioned yesterday, for the sheep. He's going to have to fight predators. He's going to have to look for sustenance. You know, when, when, when Israel was in the wilderness, they, they, they had threats. They also had needs. They needed, they had to be provided for. And in a non-agricultural setting, this had to be kind of a daily provision. And so Moses, that was part of Moses' task to help to provide sustenance, finding food and water. These lessons are going to apply both to the escape from Egypt and to the wilderness sojourn of Israel. But most important... True leadership is always a form of service. This is most prominent with Jesus, who uh, says, I came, and the Gentiles lord it over one another, but I came not to be served, but to serve and to give my life away. This is also a part of what Moses was called to do. Leadership was for him not a means of ego gratification, but a form of service. And true leaders measure themselves and the, the, the significance of their work by the health and the success of those that they are leading. And God used Midian, uh, Moses' Midian period in the back of beyond as, as a preparation for coming challenges and to teach him some of these great leadership things. Let's take a moment and pray. Lord, we thank you for everyone who's taught us leadership. We thank you for this image of a shepherd leader, uh, for what it teaches us about uh, not only knowing the sheep, but taking risks for them, protecting them, providing for them, and most of all, measuring our lives, our, our own lives, our own success uh, in terms of the health and the success of those who are given into our charge. Uh, we thank you for this great story and for what we're learning from it. In Jesus' name, amen.